You may have heard Prince Harry or Aaron Rodgers talk about how, how psychedelics have helped them. Uh, just last month, Australia became the first country in the world to recognize these drugs as a therapeutic tool. Experts believe that could happen here in the U.S. within the next few years. So how do psychedelics work? Good question. Heather Brown visited the first psychedelic healing center in Minnesota to find out. So this is the room where it happens. This is one of the rooms. People sit in the chair. Yep, we recline it out. We get a mindfold on them that allows them to keep their eyes open, but it'll still be completely dark. They all have headsets mm -hmm. that have the same music piped through. And the reason is that we want to make this completely introspective. Dr. Manoj Das runs the Institute of Integrative Therapies. We then administer the medication. Here in this clinic, you use ketamine? Correct. Okay. It's the only legal psychedelic we have available currently. Ketamine. It's an anesthetic that can produce psychedelic effects in low doses. It comes as a lozenge or injection here with Dr. Doss nearby. Treat any side effects like most likely nausea or headaches, okay. dizziness. And with a therapist in the room guiding the patient along. To guide them through it, help them through any rough spots, if there's anything that they want to bring up. And then they do therapy afterwards? Exactly. So the crux of all this is integration. Mm -hmm. So the psychedelic is not the cure itself the psychedelic is the catalyst it's mm -hmm. the mediator it really did change my life in fact after people went through fda approved trials with other psychedelic drugs two-thirds no longer reported having symptoms of ptsd several of these trials are happening in the u.s right now after those three mdma sessions i haven't had a nightmare about the war since do you suffer panic attacks anymore no do you have any thoughts of suicide no how do psychedelics work? That's a great question. There are lots of theories on this, but a prevailing one is that psychedelics help the brain create new connections so they can help unstick stuck thoughts. Ruminations, obsessions, compulsions. And that's when the therapy can actually work. Exactly. Um, what psychedelics can do is basically shake up a snow globe and give you a fresh set of powder to ski on. When I say psychedelics, what comes to mind? Mushrooms. Acid. Holistic. Healing. LSD. But I don't know a whole lot about that. About psychedelic. No, I, yeah. I don't want to know. When I talk to him about it, I always go back to set and setting and mm -hmm. say, you know, if you're going to a fish concert, yeah, that's how they use medicines. But medicines can be used differently in different settings for different reasons. Most psychedelics have been illegal in the U.S. since the 1970s, but there are some moving towards approval by the FDA. So in the right setting, provided by the right provider, it is a extraordinarily important tool. Heather Brown? It's not just for all the mentally ill. It's for everybody in between that just wants to live a better life. WCCO 4 News. At the clinic, people have to go through three to five therapy sessions before they receive any medication. Doctor says that psychedelics aren't for everyone. People with a history of cardiovascular problems, manias, or psychosis probably wouldn't be good candidates. If you have a good question for Heather, email her through wccocom links.